Good evening. Welcome to Democrat headquarters. My name is Steve Stewart. I'm the party chairman here. And I promised everyone I would start on time this time. But uh, I appreciate everyone taking time out of their busy day to come up here and uh, listen to a great Democrat talk about her candidacy for city clerk. I've known Melissa for a couple years now, and I think most of you know her from the last campaign and how hard she worked. I guarantee you she'll work just as hard, if not harder. And she worked pretty hard in that election, too. Um, Melissa's married to uh, Phil Peck and Paul, has a daughter, um, five years old, little Ruthie. Uh, uh, there she is, right there. She got a hand up. Hi, Ruthie. So without further ado, let me introduce to you Melissa Peck and Paul. humbling when I see this many people here. Um, I get a little Kay Walker-ish. <laughs> I don't know where she's at, but she's probably in person me. Yeah, there she is. Um, so, I just ran a campaign, and it was really hard, and it was really long, and it was really tough, and I feel like I went up against the best that that party had to offer, and I was, I was this close. I was this close, and the crazy thing is, is when it was over, I wasn't ready to stop and cry. I, I, I didn't even, I mean, I cried a little bit that night, if you remember, but I, I was ready to go again because I, I love this party so much. I believe in so much that this is about. Um, I, I want to thank Steve, Phil Nichols, uh, the Meridans, Tyler, because they have believed in me so much to afford me this, this time to get to run again. Um, Thank my family for doing this with me again. My husband, Phil Peck and Paul. <laughs> my daughter, Ruthie, who today said, are we ready to run and do this again? Are we gonna run this race? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm ready to do it again. Um, this party means so much to me. This city means so much to me. I don't like to talk about it too much because I'll get emotional and I don't wanna cry, but I'm ready. I'm ready to do this again. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. I feel like I haven't even taken a break. I feel like we're ready to get this thing going again. I love the work. I love the work. I love meeting people. I love getting out and hearing what they care about because that's what I care about too. And the clerk's office is a, a strong tradition of Democrats, not just Democrats, but Democrat ladies. Uh, Phyllis Reagan, who's here with me tonight. to be my treasurer of my campaign and and work with me through all this. Vicki, Mary, and Lacey's here somewhere. I don't know where she went, but and Chrissy. Chrissy's here too. I didn't even see everybody come in. I'm sorry. I've been working with her. Um, so anyways, thank you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let's do this again. I'm ready to go. I can't I can't think of a bigger honor than being on the ticket with Mayor Dennis Tyler. He got a standing ovation the other night and it, it made me cry, so I'm just saying. So um, enjoy yourself tonight. Come talk to me. I got a really big cake, so please eat some cake. A lot of punch and thank you for coming out today. Go bless up. Dear Lord, we uh, thank you for uh, this night tonight for Julius Anderson. We hope you bless him in this election, and we hope you bless each and every one that's come out here tonight. Whether it be financial, whether it be home needs, whether it be any need, we wish you uh, please bless everybody in this building tonight. Amen. 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 Uh, so, <coughs> this tonight. Could you please come up? Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I call my brother Julius, Julius, future mayor. 
I think I'm only calling it right now. Thanks, it's Wendy's Day. <laughs> but um, he asked me to sing a song, and he said, "When you won't have any music, it'll be a cappella, and whatever it is, God lays on your heart. And so God laid it on my heart. It's just the Lord's Prayer, and you know, it's one of those songs that's kind of designed to be uh, sang without music. So here we go. Our Father, we charge in heaven, hallowed be thy name. chairman here and uh, it's usually it's pretty unusual to have one of these on a Sunday but my understanding is this is Julius's birthday before I get started I'd like all our Democrat office holders to please stand wow. let me tell you something that great great group Mayor Dennis Tyler Great to work with you, Mayor. Nora Powell, City Council at large, great to work with you too, Nora, over the years. And there's Doug Marshall, <laughs> City Council of District 1. Great to work with you too, Doug. Who could forget Jerry Dishman? <laughs> District 5, City Council, Nora Powell. What? Allison Quirk. Uh, I'm sorry, Allison Quirk. I got Nora on the brain for some <laughs> Allison Quirk. <laughs> Allison Quirk, City Council at large. And our new Democrat County Clerk, Mike King. Great Democrat office holder. Thank all of you. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary Chambers. Just put a few over there. Mary Chambers, County Council. Okay, I'll forget it now. Okay. Well, we're here today for Julius. Julius Anderson, City Council in District 6. Uh, as most of you know, I'm also the chief of police, and I can tell you, with working all of these Democrat office holders and Julius, there hasn't been a thing that I've asked for for the police department that hasn't been granted. That they've worked very, very hard with me and, very, and been very, very supportive of our police department in the city of Muncie. And I appreciate all the work that you do. Now, when Julius was president of city council, he and I had a running joke. <laughs> and it goes like this. He would see me and he'd go, there's my favorite police chief. <laughs> and I'd say, Julius, I'm the only police chief. <laughs> <laughs> so when he became council president, I said, Julius, there's my favorite council president. And he would say, I'm your only council president. <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado, allow me to introduce to you a great Democrat, supportive of Democrat headquarters, Julius Anderson. Thank you. 
Don't worry, I'll be short tonight. <laughs> like to do, first of all, I would like to uh, call my wife, Belinda Anderson. I'd like to call her up and just give her a, uh, just a moment, Belinda. Hey, Chief, can I get my glasses just for a moment, please? Yeah. Sorry. Thank you, sir. I should have brought you. I got you. All right. Um, the reason why I wanted to do that, because Belinda and I have been together for 43 years. But we've been married for We've been together through thick and thin, more thin than thick. So I just wanted to say that I, you know I love her, I appreciate her, and, and you all know that you know it all goes together. If you marry, there's there's somebody always with you that's going to help you, to encourage you, to pick you up, to to uh, to say, well, you did your best, or whatever, however the circumstances may fall out. And she has been that for me, and I really appreciate it. So I just want to say thank you. You can stand up here with me, or you can go on and sit back down. <laughs> I have all of my children here, so would you just stand up and you belong to me? I mean, I know I did raise you. Down. <laughs> last person I want to introduce is uh, one of my mentors. We sit and talk politics all day long, over and over again. No, Kim, it's not you. Know, <laughs> it's, uh, it's really good all. <laughs> and thank you again, Chief uh, Stewart, for all you have done. Okay. Uh, I just like to begin by start uh, by speaking about uh, where I've been and where we at and where I, what I need to do, but I cannot go any farther without thinking uh, that of our mayor for his vision for our city. So I just want to again, uh, Mayor Tyler, thank you for the vision you have set all of us council personnel on that we're achieving those goals and we're working real hard. So I just want to thank Mayor Tyler. And the any of his administrative team here, because together, we're working together as one with unity. So if any of his administrative team is here, because they're getting the job done, we're getting the job done, and that's what we need to do for our city. For the first time, I can say we all on the same page, going in the same direction, achieving goals. And that's what this whole thing's about, yeah. working together. And I appreciate that, Dennis Tyler. Okay, um, I, I want to do just the same thing too with uh, that of our, our council members. You know, we do have a little caucus in here, and it would not, if it not, had not been for uh, personnel such as council persons like, such as uh, Allison Kirk, Doug Marshall, Jerry Dishman, Mary Jo Barton, and Noah Powell. Give them a hand because they make it possible. They make it possible, and and uh, they make believers out of me and out of each other because we work together, and I love that. You know, it's not that we all on the same page to achieve that same goal, and it is great. Um, I would like to take this opportunity right now to introduce those that are here, and these are the precinct commitments, and the precinct commitments they have, and there's seven of, of them. And uh, if you're here and I call your name, I want to just at least say something about you. Now, I'm in Precinct 11, and Precinct 11 is Lynn Thornburg. Would you please stand up, Lynn, just, just for a moment? I'm telling you, Lynn Thornburg is a woman on fire. <laughs> she is energetic. She, she knows what she wants, and she don't stop until she get it. She is an excellent, excellent that of a precinct committee person. And I tell you what, she goes door to door, in season and out of season. Now, I'm at McDonald's and I'm seeing her knocking on doors. So uh, I really appreciate you. And I'm gonna tell you right up front, I need your help. I need you. I need your help. Uh, at precinct 12, well, that's me. Uh, you know, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And precinct 12 is, is that of Herb Murphy. I did send him a letter, but you know, he does a great job out there 
as it relates to turning out the vote, the votes. So I'm gonna have to work with him, or somehow because I need I need some help out there, and uh, and I'm gonna work with him. He's in 18, and 19 is a, a young lady by the name of Anita Davis. She's an up and coming star. I don't know if she's here or not, but she's an up and coming star. She's hungry and she wants to work and she wants to uh, go farther. Mary Surf, I don't see Mary, but Mary Surf is a veteran. She's been around here. She's always extending and stretching herself. When we have our lunches up here, she always want to come and help and be a part of somebody's group. And, and we need people like that. We need volunteers. Mary Surf, she's at 20. And 46, I don't see Kay, but I see her lovely mother. Uh, Kay Walker, every kiss begins with Kay, I would say. <laughs> so Kay, uh, I, I, I really, really need Kay support. I, I need Kay support. And that's a call out to her, but her lovely mother is, is here today. But uh, that's out in 46. And last but not least is the 48. And, and that 48 is something I just inherited, which I like, out there by Union Chapel and all those areas. And that's the cameraman, Roger Overby. <laughs> this man is solid. He's solid as a rock. I have learned to know, and if you're watching Channel uh, 60, and you see all the various programs on there with him doing uh, uh, some kind of cut for the mayor and or for the community as a whole, it's Roger Overby. And look at that. He's the guy behind the scenes. And I tell you what, if you pass and you see these billboards, you see that guy like he's holding that, that camera like this? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> All right, that's him. I really appreciate you, Roger, and I need to work with you because I really need to work as hard as I can uh, this year. So thank you, Roger. And then there's some volunteers behind the scene. We don't see them, but they really make sure that each and every one of us get what we need. They come alongside us, they help us. They don't interfere, but when we go to them, they give us some good answers. And they really up front with us and they tell us the truth. And I really thank all of those guys down there. They know who they are, they're here. But they really, really help me. A lot of times we as council members, we don't have all the answers. But we know who we can go to and they would just, they take the time, I call late at night and say, well, you ain't the only council person to call me, Julius. <laughs> and or, you know, we have the ones downstairs with the office and stuff, but they really help us out. So I think that we do a great job. And um, uh, they do a great job as it relates to tutoring us, helping us, and making sure that we, we do the right, I mean, that we're on the right course. Because I made this comment last year. I'm in love with 214. I love 214 because I got my start from 214. 214 put me on the right Road and I will never forget. I never turn my back or I never do anything. I follow my I follow my orders and do what I have to do because I love. I'm a product of 214 and that's a lifetime commitment with me. And I just want to put that out there. So as I move along, I just want to talk about some of the things in which I am so proud of. And if you're not proud and happy of it, about it, and if you would and you're not burning, your wood must be wet because the city is doing a whole lot of great things. And I'm going to tell you about it. Um, um, Duke Campbell is just one of the administrative uh, person that kind of broke this down to me as it relates to District 6. And he was telling me, he said, did you know in 2012 that we did uh, 17 sidewalk projects, 7 tree projects, and 9 paving projects? Now, this is paving the streets. Uh, 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 Cutting down those uh, trees that's in the middle of the, uh, the sidewalk and doing all of those things. This is what they're doing. That was 2012. 2013, it was eight sidewalk projects, 44 tree projects, and 13 paving projects. In 14, it was four sidewalk projects, 97 tree projects, and 10 uh, paving projects. Now, this is just all in District 6, not, not counting the whole city. And then, for the total so far, 29 sidewalk projects, 148 tree projects, and 32 pavement projects. Now let me, let me say that before we clap. <laughs> on, on, that, on that tree project, you can call, it, it'll cost you anywhere between eight and ten thousand dollars a tree. You see, between eight and ten thousand, Mr. Mayor, if I'm telling the truth, yeah. So what I'm saying is that the, the city is doing their part. This is the first time in my life where I'm seeing this, we all working together and things are getting done. You don't believe me? Drive down Walnut. Look at all the stuff torn apart. You know? I mean, look at it. Okay. All right. The same thing, Doug Marshall, you can kind of spin on this, and this is the sanitation department. 
I know that even on uh, Brady, Wood, I mean, uh, Wolf, and down on Penn Street, I mean, we got sores going in, you know, and, and I got to say this too, because I was talking to the, the uh, one of the gentlemen as it relates to the, the infrastructure of the Whiteley area, and he said it's just been neglected. Our area has been de neglected. And now the sanitation department, along with Doug Marshall and all of them, are going in, putting in new systems. Just see, I mean, just go past there. And it's not only over there, but if you look across town, the new streets are being paved. We are on the right track. We are going in the right direction. We all on the same team, and we getting things done in months. And somebody need to help me clap on that. <laughs> No, that's just in District 6, but if I look outside of District 6, I tell you what, out the reservoir, they did phase one, phase two, phase three is going out out there. And then you look downtown, you see 150 a room new hotels being built. Man, aren't you happy about that? I see millions and millions of dollars coming to Muncie, Indiana, downtown. Millions of dollars. People from all over the world. And I think our, I almost said pastor. I think our mayor and his administrative team are getting that done. I always mess up on that. But they agree. Okay. I, I thank you about that because it, it is good. And it is good to see us investing in ourselves. Yeah, right, yeah. We're making an investment in ourselves. Then you look at Madison Street. Some of y'all familiar with Madison. I just drove down to the roundabout yesterday and came back. And if look, if you hadn't seen it, drive down Madison and see telephone poles or light poles in the middle of the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? I mean, how can a person in a wheelchair get through it without going in the street? It was jacked up, and we allowed that to happen. Not under this administration. We're taking the bull by the horn. We're making some changes. From the turnabout all the way to the underpath, and you can see some of the underpaths, we're going to correct that where it floods up under there. Sidewalks, bike trail. I'm telling you, if we can just get that stuff done, and it's going to happen. We started down that way, and it's on its way all the way down. So with that, it is just one of the greatest things that has happened to Muncie. And you can visually see things, not hear about it. You can see it with your own eye. That should let you know that this administrative team is really working together. Cohesiveness. We're working together on that. A couple more things I just want to say as I look outside our district, or I, I would say um, my motto this year is let's finish the job. The city is already to a part. I mean, I don't want to leave when I know I've already signed for the hotel and all that. My signature's on there, too. I mean, it's just like I open up the toolbox, and, and all the tools and everything's in a disarray. I want to complete it. My motto is, I'm, I want to finish the job. I just finish the job, and I have to do that. Yeah. So if you would help me finish the job by coming alongside of me, knocking on doors, Roy, uh, cooking me some uh, some lunch meat or something, you know, or helping me to, to, to get this thing done so that I can be and finish up what I have started. It's already started. We just need to finish. And I just want to say for my team, I support everyone on my ticket. I, I support you guys. And whatever I can do to help you, I want to do it. So we're in this thing together, and I just want to finish the job. And I just want to say, there's two initiatives in which I started about uh, three years ago. One of them was, uh, as you notice, the, the mayor has always had a chat, a chat with the mayor, and meet the mayor. But I kind of broke that down in, in uh, that of uh, the month of uh, February, which is called Black History Month. And, and, and what we do is four weeks, four Tuesdays. The mayor, his whole administrative team, come to a designated ministry that in the African American community and you talk real talk. Sometimes it's pretty, sometimes it's not so pretty. But I tell you that when you talk with the mayor at these meetings, he said if he can't call my office next day and things get done. So I thank him for that. We can, this is the third year is going on. There's three ministries, four ministries this year is going to be with, uh, this we're going to uh, address. Mount Calvary is going to be the first one. But it seems like we get some positive results when we work together, when we bring things face to face with our mayor and with the administrative team. It don't have to be about the, the garbage truck 
We have, you know, it don't have to be about that. It could be about dogs or whatever, or community development, a blighted house or whatever. There are some issues with everything in this community. It is not fixed and we're not done. We have a long ways to go, but we own the right track. And I'm here to say, please help me to finish what I'm starting. Help me. Can I get some, uh, can I get a hand or something? Can you help me? 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 And this is over. I tell y'all it's gonna take long. <laughs> All right. And, uh, and I appreciate you. I, I, I love I love our chairman because I have went to him so many times and and and, and, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. He said that he tell me, he said, look, two, 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 you're all right. That makes me feel so much better, like a relief. So, but I, I made the mistake. Come on in here, Mr. Peck and Paul. Yeah, yeah, because I made the mistake and said, told uh, Nora that I, I kind of like pressure, and I do. And uh, we'll see what happens. So, uh, as you know, Linda is going to come up here for something special. Now, what's that you want to do? Well, I'm going to sing the special song to this special man. Oh, no. <laughs> My wife is here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have my own husband for 37 years. Yes, clap. <laughs> but um, we're kind of sort of classmates. So he's like one year older than me, so. Can I tell your age, probably? Oh, yeah. Because I know how old I am. 60 what? <laughs> the devil in him is alive. <laughs> Wait, 58? Yes. See? Because I knew, because 57, okay? Amen. But it's his birthday, and so I'm just gonna sing, and I'm gonna help me, please. I feel like giving you an offering, family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, help me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Julia. Make this possible. Where's my Ball State girls at who made this special cake just for me? Okay, all right, they're in red. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, I'll sell it with you tomorrow. <laughs> hey, I only have one grandkid, and this is, uh, I call him my little man. You want to say anything? What? <laughs> yeah, well, he's not a talker. Hey, thank you. Enjoy yourself. Mingle, have fun. This is over. Thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. Hey, we're going to have a seat and we'll get started. I don't know why people want to talk. Well, good evening and welcome to Democrat headquarters. My name is Steve Stewart. I'm the party chairman. I'd like to take a couple minutes just to introduce some people to you. Uh, Vicki Beach. Where are you, Vicki Beach? Vicki Beach, our vice chair. I see Joe Evans back there in the corner. He's our treasurer. Pete. And Denise Moore, I saw you earlier. Where are you, Denise? Denise Moore, right over here. Part of your secretary. Stand up, Denise. <laughs> I do appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedules to come up here and listen to these three council candidates. Uh, it's my honor tonight to introduce uh, our first speaker, uh, Mary Jo Barton, who has been a city council person for going on 20 years. Joe's got so much she'd like for all of you to uh, uh, get a chance to meet and, and endorse for this this race in Council District 3. Mary Joe. 
Well, I am. Unlike the mayor, I thought I had something to put this on, but I don't. So, I hope everybody can hear me. And what a nice looking crowd. Young people. That's what, that's what it's about. Young people. Young faces. This is what we need, and the very reason I'm standing here tonight is to get young people involved. For close to 40 years or more, I have been elected and remain your Precinct 14 committee member committee woman, working hard for this Democrat party, and then for close to the last 20 years, of the 40, I have been elected your District 3 City Council woman. Since 1996, <laughs> I have been here since 1996, and I have been your city council woman today. I have been very blessed and humbled and proud to be elected to such a wonderful and rewarding position. And I thank God every night for that. For, and for every opportunity that I've had to come up here and work with all you people that's here and all the new faces. But as you all know, it's like, it's in your blood. It's in my blood. You know that. There's a lot of people in here who know that. It was, it's always been in my blood, the McGuigan blood on my side, the Barton blood on my husband's side. And it'll always be like that. I'll always be here. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help as many people as I can up here because I want all Democrats elected. That's what has to be. <laughs> and the main thing is. The last three years have been the most wonderful years of being on a council, working with that man right there, Dennis Tyler. You cannot... I mean, it's no fun working with a Democrat or with a Republican. It's no fun. Let me tell you, I know. I've been there. Okay, everything that I've written down, I've pretty much messed up. <laughs> so anyway, in, this, in my mind, when I ran, I ran to listen to the people, to do what you could do for the people. I never made a promise. I would not make a promise. And then do what they needed to, and get done if I could possibly do it. And if I couldn't do it, I'd just say, I'm sorry, I can't do it. And there was many years that I believed me, I couldn't do it. Because they wouldn't listen. Republicans won't listen. It's no fun. So that's why we have to get Dennis Tyler reelected. <laughs> and even after 40 years, I'm still learning every day. And, you know, I want to learn. I want to remain here and learn. Because this is the Democrat Party right here in this building. No. No. So, let me get to where I should be. But moving right along, Danny and I have known this person for ever since he was a little boy, growing up with Tracy and around Misty and my brother Scott. And it makes me proud to know that I talked with him. I feel good about it. I know he's going to do a good job. He's kind of like me in a way, a little hard-headed maybe. But he'll change with the years, believe me. He'll change because I have a lot. But I do want to say this. I believe, I called him today to make sure, but I think he's also lived in District 3 for his entire life, like I have, which really makes a difference, so. 
He will continue, I'm sure, working hard with the voters and our Democrat Party, which in my opinion is the only Democrat Party right here at 214 North Walnut Street. That will never change. So with the best wishes and my love for the Democrat Party, I'd like to introduce to you the next Democrat District 3 Council person, Ray Dazzle. She did call me earlier and I didn't answer, I didn't take a phone call, so we was up here getting ready for this, so I didn't do it, so I didn't get my first yell on that. Real quick, my decision to run for a District 3 City Councilman, first of all, I love my district. I love all my neighborhoods in my district, I love all my neighbors, and four years ago, I listened to Mayor Dennis Tyler talk about imagine the possibilities. I remember how my neighborhood used to be when I was a kid growing up. You know, I knew all my neighbors. I knew everybody from all the way down to Thomas Park, all the way down to Garfield. Knew them all. If you got in trouble down the, down the street, you got to whoop them three times before you got home to get the road. So I started going around. I was a sheriff's deputy. I started going around to the neighborhood association meetings. Went to Forest Park. I've been to Old West Inn. I've been to Avondale. And I'm listening to the people talk in the neighborhoods, and they're talking about drugs and we're talking about the lapidated housing and we're talking about the way our neighborhoods look and not knowing people. So the basis that my committee came up with when we brainstormed about what our focus was going to be, it comes down to one word and that's neighbor. We're going to try to get everybody back in our district talking about what it's like to be a neighbor. Taking the blinds and taking them up or opening the curtains up, looking out for everybody around you. Going out and helping a neighbor if they need help. Help somebody clean their property. Clean the sidewalks in front of your houses up. Once you start doing this, then all of a sudden your neighborhood is going to look nice. And if, you, that, if that neighborhood does it, the next neighborhood is going to do it. Before you know it, our entire district is going to look that way. And other districts are going to want to look that way. Then that truly is when we can imagine the possibilities. What we're going to bring in from that. Companies and corporations are going to look at this and they're going to want to be a part of our community. Because everybody's working together. Good, honest, law-abiding citizens are working together for one goal. And that's a better Muncie. So, with that in hand, I'm just going to tell you one story. It's not a long story, it's a short story. We, uh, Mark Thomas asked me to for a small donation to help out at Gillespie Towers. If nobody knows where that is, that's in between... Garkey and Mound Street on, on Jackson. It'd be on the south side of the road. Big tall high rise. Well, you got 79 residents there, Mark? Yeah. 79 residents. Every year, starting December 26th, they start working on the next Christmas event. A lot of the residents there are handicapped. This gives them pride to know that they're going to be helping out not only residents in their community, but whoever wants to come and get something free for Christmas. So Mark asked me, he said, hey, we fell a little bit short. Want to know if you could make a donation. Not a problem. We'll do that. He said, if you show up Saturday before Christmas, show up and you can watch what we do. So I did. I showed up. When I walked in there, they had a lot of, you know, clothes that people had donated to them, some toys, and there was uh, one large table that had nothing but toilet paper on it. I was thinking, okay. But every resident or everybody from the neighborhood that left there with two or three of these with them, you thought it was the best thing in the world for them. So, yeah, we got a long way to go, but I want to help everybody, the rest of the city council, Mayor Dennis Tyler, 
and everybody else to get there. My name is Ray Dudley. I'm running for District 3 City Council. City Council candidate, Mr. Doug Marshall. I've uh, went back a long ways with Marshall family from the times I used to watch his dad at Heacon Park, Thomas Park, play softball. I realized how tenacious Mr. Uh, Marshall was. And uh, a few years later, Mr. Marshall ended up a uh, city councilman. He sat in the same seat that Doug sits in now. And he definitely took the that part of being tenacious to the city council. Anybody ever see uh, Mr. Marshall in a city council meeting, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. In saying that, he's passed that trade along to Doug. Doug is a definite champion for the South Side of Muncie, a champion for the district that he uh, works out of, and all of his con constituents. Doug is not the kind of person that's going to just stick his foot in to see how warm the water is. Doug is that guy that you're going to hear Geronimo and Cannonball and look for this flash. <laughs> so the one thing that uh, I'd like to say about Doug is Doug has done an excellent job working with this administration, Mayor Tyler. He's done a great job working with all the officials to get things done on the south side of the city of Muncie. A few of the things are the South uh, Madison Street Light. Uh, project. That project uh, started right there at the new roundabout and it goes all the way down to 29th Street. All the lights down through there. Doug had a hand in that, guys. Also, the Southside Gateway Project to let people know that they're now entering the beautiful city of Muncie, Indiana. All of that is now completed. And Doug has got other things on his mind right now. He's working with the mayor and other officials to make sure that the corridor to the city of Muncie comes in the south side and goes all the way to uh, Wiser, basically. All the streets will be new. All the sidewalks will be new. It will be handicap accessible. And uh, Doug is just doing a great job. And uh, we just want to make sure that we stand behind Doug the whole way. So uh, without... Any further ado, you know him, you love him, Mr. Doug Marshall. <laughs> First off, I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. I know the weather's cold and dreary, and I really appreciate everybody being out here tonight. Um, all the uh, elected office holders, have, can they stand up? Office holders? Everybody stand up? If you're elected. I think we should give these people a big round of applause. For I know what they go through. They take a lot of time dedication it's just crazy the time that you have to put in for this also uh central committee could central committee people stand up please i want to thank you guys we want to keep these wheels turning up here and without them i don't know what we could do without them they're 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 very helpful and uh give us the tools that we need to get the job done to help the citizens and our districts and everything like that. Like my, my family to stand up, if they would please. My grandson Jack, he's the boss, just ask him, he'll tell you. And then my lovely wife Misty, you know, babe, I couldn't do this without you.
These past three years, we've seen tremendous changes in Muncie and in my district. We've seen a ray of sunshine and a sense of optimism that hasn't been present for a very long time. Working together, we're bringing unity to our community and accomplishing things that we were sent here to do. Working on the council, I've had great privilege to be part of some amazing project that exemplifies what our community is all about. We are beautifying our community and improving our infrastructure. Just months ago, we opened the Southside Gateway Project. Uh, city officials have been working towards uh, for the better part of a decade, and now it's, a, it's completed and done, so we're really pleased about that. This is part of an overall vision that will see Madison Street rebuilt in 2015. This is an artery in our community connecting my district and the Southside Muncie as a whole. We are focusing uh, development on the south side of Muncie. In the past three years, we've seen a 3.1% decrease in unemployment, which I'm very proud of, and everybody should be really proud of that. That's not enough for us. It's amazing for a community like ours that was hit hard by this past recession. We have a new community center on the south side of Muncie. After years, we were able to provide another place for our children on the south side to get involved in programs, improve their study skills, and or receive a hot meal, which I'm proud of that too. We've paved streets in my district that haven't been touched in over 30 years. And uh, another big thing, our fire stations are now safe stations. So our citizens have some place to go if they're in danger. And I'm really pleased about that. My friends, we're getting things done in Muncie. We're letting our amazing community and all of its people shine. I love this city. I love my district. I love the south side of Muncie that I represent. Let us keep working. Let us keep working together so that we can keep this momentum and show we improve people's lives when we remember that is what it's all about. Thank you for all you do, and I appreciate your support, and thank you. Steve Craycraft, I'm your Delaware County Auditor. I remember when I remember when Doug's dad ran, I introduced him at, um, when he did his announcement, and I think I introduced Doug the first time that he ran. So this is always an honor and a pleasure to be here and, and uh, be amongst friends and introduce some of our good candidates. Um, last but not least, our District 5 candidate, Jerry Dishman. This man has done. I mean, what can you say about this guy? Loyal Democrat. He works tirelessly for everyone. Anybody that's on the ticket, he works for them. Your fundraisers, he is out there helping you with your fundraisers. He not only donates teams, he donates supplies, um, and he does it for every candidate. No, so not just a few, everyone. Um, as you know, he's currently our 5th District City Councilman. I believe he's seeking his third term. I didn't know we were all wearing blue today in ties, you guys. <laughs> you didn't tell me ahead of time. <laughs> Je uh, Jerry, is, he's been a lifelong resident of this city, and he's worked at the same place, Pepsi, for over 40 years. Um, he has served on the City Council. He's a steward for the local Teamsters at his uh, place of business for over 30 years. Jerry served on the Muncie Metropolitan Planning Commission, uh, the Muncie City Council Tax Abatement Committee, and he, on the Center Township Advisory Board. Again, let's give him a good round of applause. Jerry Dixon. Well, I'm not 
not going to be long-winded as it's done for me. I'm just going to come here. i got to uh, thank Judy. The first one i got to thank. She's always stood by me by anything I decided to do. The Democrat women really goes through a bunch of stuff. I mean, they, they really do. I mean, they're, they're always doing something. They're always cooking. They're always fixing. And, and, and they're just doing everything for, for us campus, the men. And uh, I thank you for that, Judy. And uh, I want to thank one other guy, uh, Skip Smith. He done the banner tonight. Thank you, Skip. I uh, thank you, Skip. And uh, I was I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Like Steve said, I've been a Pepsi, I've been a Pepsi 41 years. And uh, I've been a union steward for over 35 years. And uh, I've seen a lot of people come and go. And, uh, and uh, I, I fought for the working class person all my life. And, uh, and I'll still fight for them all my life. But uh, I want to get into the, my uh, uh, campaign uh, uh, people is uh, my party, I mean my uh, campaign finance is uh, Tim Crehan. He's not here tonight, uh, but his wife is right there. And uh, my... Uh, <laughs> crazy. Uh, Charlie Richmond Sr. is my campaign manager. And, uh, the Richmond family has always been there for me when I asked them to help me out in these functions, just like the Craycraft family. And Doug and every, everybody in this room has been there for me. I, I thank you for that. Anyway, let me tell you something a little about Charlie back here. When I was in the seventh grade, we was, we was, on, we was in wrestling. And uh, the, the, the ninth graders needed a guy to practice on. So guess who gets the, be the man to go up against the ninth grader? Anyway, while I was being bent around like a pretzel, I looked over and Charlie's on the sideline over there. He says, hang in there, Dishman, you can get her done. And he's still there today for <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Mike White, Phil Nichols, and thank God for Dennis being our mayor. Thank you. Yeah. Almost four years, Dennis. It's, I mean, it's been a pleasure, Dennis. A pleasure. Yeah. And Dennis has never kept us in a blind about nothing. When Dennis got ready to do something, he always had a council on board. We, we was never blindsided about anything. So, Dennis, thank you for that. Let's get to Anyway, I, I'm, I'm announcing my candidacy tonight for my third term. So I, I would wish you would support me. And I hope you would support me. And uh, that's all I got to say for now. But I want to bring up uh, uh, a lady that wants to talk for a few minutes. And her name is Allison Quirk. Woo! things that I want to say. First of all, I've known Ray for years, and I was very excited about him running, but after that speech, I'm even more excited because his heart came out, and I am so excited to have the opportunity to work with you. Now, Doug is my city council buddy, and he and I sit together, and we, um, we get to help one another through the meetings, and one of us has misplaced the paper or we have a question about something. And we have really gotten um, to develop a friendship that I am thankful for. But the real thing that I want to share about Doug is that when he first came on the uh, council, uh, like Eddie said, he does not hesitate. He just jumps in. 
and he came to us and he said, I've got this idea that I want to share, and we're going to start doing a citizen of the month. I'm not going to lie, at first I was going to be like, I don't know, Doug, what if that doesn't go so well? But he talked to us about it, and I thought, you know what, that is a good idea. And I have to say that after the three years that we've done that, that is the best thing that we've done for our media. you to go because it's good stuff and um, every month we recognize someone from our community who is being a hero in their way and it's it's a great thing to celebrate so thank you now Jerry I could go on and on about Jerry Jerry is a man of commitment and if he tells you he's going to do something it's going to get done for example when you're out walking you go to Jerry's precinct He's already spoken to the, his people. He's already got your signs out. And if he tells you he's going to do something, it happens. The other thing is that Jerry is 100% committed to the council and the work that we do. He's not missed a meeting. He goes to everything that he needs to be at, and he gives 100%. And for that, I thank you. opportunity to work with these guys and tonight really is about these guys but uh, Nora and I opted to not really have announcements but they decided to give us an invitation to maybe say a few things I do want to let everyone know that as of yesterday I filed my paperwork <laughs> We'll take it. Um, I do have a couple other things. One thing that I want to announce is that because the mayor took my uh, campaign chair, which is a great fit, and we're excited about that, I had to find a new person, and that person's Mark Omar, and I'm very thankful that he agreed to And then also, last but not least, I want to thank my family because all of us know that it's the families that sacrifice the most. And uh, John puts up with me, <laughs> and my kids put up with a lot too. And for that, I'm thankful. Thank you for being here and for everything you do. We all appreciate it. So now I'm going to invite Nora to come up and say a few things. So. I want to say a few things about Nora. Um, Nora was our, when I was the president of the Muncie City Council, Nora was our uh, finance chairman. And when Dennis took office, we never had a balanced budget. After Dennis took the office, for the last three years, we've had a balanced budget. So, so yeah. You, you was right on the money. So here's uh, here's Nora Powell. reputation of bringing the waterworks, but um, the night is about Doug and Jerry and Ray, and I have had the incredible honor of working with Jerry and, and Doug on council for the last three years, and I have had the incredible honor of being Ray's friend for a long time, and I'm very excited to work with you in the coming years. Um, Jerry is someone that I love to have on the finance committee with me because he comes prepared and asks the good questions. And like Allison said, he is there for everyone. He will bring you, he will deliver uh, Pepsi products to your door <laughs> at the drop of a hat if you need them. And he has done that for me for, for fi family reasons and things like that. And I, I can't tell you how wonderful and true, that's a word I got from Kay Walker, true. Jerry is true. And I appreciate you. And I, I think that you will be a fantastic council person again. And, and Doug? I have had a very challenging year, and Doug and his family have embraced me, and I can't tell you how much it's meant to me, 
and how close of a, of a family we are um, as a Democrat party. I stood before you four years ago and asked to be your candidate. I stood before a room full of fellow Democrats. And tonight, I get to stand in front of a room full of friends and family. And that means the world to me. I look around the room and... I look around the room and I see people who mean the world to me and who have supported me and have reached out to me. And it is wonderful. And I have to acknowledge Mary Jo, who has been wonderful to me on council and has been a fantastic mentor to all of us and is leaving a, a huge legacy. And I appreciate you for that. Um, I also have to acknowledge my campaign manager, Aaron Kidder, who is keeping me on track. And, uh, ways to see who can out intense the other person so I appreciate you Aaron and um, my mom is over there who loves me and has gotten attacked by dogs to help get me elected the central committee who has tirelessly kept plodding me along and when I come in and rip my hair out they've been wonderful to me um, and lastly I need to acknowledge my oldest son is at work John but my daughter Emma and my son Drew. And I could not ask for two better campaign team players. They come to campaign. They come to council meetings and sit quietly in the back. Emma probably knows more about the municipal budget than anyone else I know. She is a very strong advocate for the animal shelter. Um, but again, tonight is about is about Doug and Jerry and Ray. And I am very excited, as is Allison, to work with you guys over the next four years, and very excited to work with Mayor Tyler. Mayor Tyler, I trust you with my family. I mean, you are leading this city in a way that will enable my kids to stay here and not have to go other places and seek jobs, and I can't tell you from the bottom of my heart how much that means to me. give the Democrat Party in a round of applause because this is such an amazing family. Thank you guys. We got some uh, refreshments and sandwiches and everything. I would hope that you would eat everything so we don't want to take it back with us. So have at it guys. And do you want to say anything? Uh, dude, you've done a good job of cleaning the streets. Thank you. Yes, sir. And Phil, and Tracy, and Doug.